This is literally one of my favorite videos to film because at the end of it, I get to throw all this away. Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here. If you're not new and you're coming back, you're amazing, thank you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my empties, what I used in the first six months of this year, and if I liked it, if I'd repurchase it, was it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Now, I have done this video a couple times. Last year, I tracked how much I used in the first six months and second six months of the year, and then I calculated the value of all the products. So we're gonna do that again at the end of this video. We're gonna calculate how much all oh, my empties are worth, hopefully something. Uh, I will say though, last year I was unemployed. So last year I was able to really focus on actually emptying out some of the products. Like I could focus, you know, I could actually moisturize my body before I go to sleep. Now I just go to sleep because I'm working a lot, which is good. I'm very glad I'm working because that way I can afford my very expensive love of makeup, right? That just meant that I couldn't actually focus on finishing products up as quickly as I wanted to because sometimes you just don't have it in you. So I'm really interested to see the worth of all the products that I finished in this six months versus the first six months of last year. So we are going to go through everything. I have two buckets, two buckets of things. Pretty good, I will say. And I don't even remember everything that's in here. So it's actually kind of exciting to see what I've used up and if it's something that I've already repurchased or that I need to repurchase or whatever. I probably don't need to repurchase anything. Uh, but the total value of everything too. And I will say, I have a lot of skincare in here, I know I do. Probably not as much makeup. Makeup is so hard to pan, but I know there's a few things in here. So let's just bring the camera down, go through everything by category, and then we will end the video talking about the total price value of all these products. I cannot wait. Because then if I can recycle them, they're going in the recycle. If not, they unfortunately have to go in the garbage. So let's get into this. We have so much stuff. So at, if it's been in my shower, it's gonna look like it's been in the shower. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna look a little crusty. Um, so let me go ahead and divide this stuff up by hair products, body, skincare, makeup, so that we can do everything by category. Okay, so first up I wanna talk about hair stuff um, because I have quite a bit of that, so I figured we would get that out of the way. So I guess let's talk about like some shampoo stuff first. I use Olaplex. So I finished up one of the number five conditioners as well as the number four shampoo. I really like Olaplex. I do not wash my hair super often, which is why you're like, it's all used up. That's all you've used up in six months. That's kind of crazy. Um, but I like to switch around my products too. So I also use the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin hair mask. It's so, so good. So I used up two of these. So normally I'll swap out my Olaplex conditioner, which is this one, and I'll use the Coco and Eve instead. And I like the Coco and Eve. It's so good. So good. Um, I also managed to use up the Olaplex Hair Perfector, the number three. Um, it was good. I don't know if I noticed a huge difference when I used it, though. I do have pretty fine hair, so it would have been nice to see a little more of a difference. But, yeah, that's okay. I don't know if I would repurchase it again. I actually have another one that came in a kit. But I think I would probably try something else after I use that one up. Um, I also finished up this tiny sample of the Sol de Janeiro Hair nourishing hair oil. Um, I use a couple different hair oils. I actually like the one from Olaplex. This was okay. It's a cute glass little bottle. It smelled amazing. Um, I used it up. I don't know if I really use it enough to see a difference though. Again, it didn't hurt my hair. I don't know if it helped my hair though. Um, I also used up this Way Wave Spray. It smells amazing. Works great on my hair. I love this stuff. And then I also used up the Batiste Tropical Dry Shampoo. Again, smells amazing. And then we have the Dry Bar Hot Toddy that I would use before straightening my hair. Um, and that works really well too. So that is my hair care. We have a couple more shower items. I love a good exfoliator. So I really do like the Tree Hut um, Sugar Scrubs. This is in Coco Colada. It's dirty. I know it's disgusting. And then we have the Herbivore Amethyst Exfoliating Body Polish. I hated this one. 
took me a long time to finish this because I did not like it. Uh, it leaves your skin very oily feeling, which I don't love when I use an exfoliator. This one doesn't do that. So I do prefer the tree cat one and it's so much less expensive. I think I got, I think I got caught by the amethyst. I was like, oh, that's my birthstone. I love it. Um, but yeah, I would not recommend this one. Okay. We have skincare and skin assorted stuff. So let's go through all of this. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention with the shower stuff, I used up this little guy from Molten Brown. This is their Infusing Eucalyptus eucalyptus Bath and Shower Gel. It smelled really good if you like eucalyptus. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. But I don't know if I do that much, to be honest. It was very, very overwhelming, which I normally like Molten Brown quite a bit, but I don't know if I would purchase it again in this particular fragrance. Okay, so let's start with cleansers. I used up the Herbivore Pink Cloud Creamy Jelly Cleanser. Um, this was fine. I didn't find like it stripped my skin or anything, so I did like it. Um, I also like that Herbivore always uses glass, so it's nice. Um, yeah, it was an okay product. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy it again, but I would use it again if I had it. We also have this tiny little guy from Chanel. This is their Cleansing Cream to Foam. I typically don't like too foamy of cleansers, um, so I did like the Herbivore one a little bit more than the Chanel, but the Chanel did smell good. Uh, we have this travel size ocean cleanser from Osea. I do love Osea. It's a great brand. It uh, is a little smelly, but it works really good. So I do like it. Let's see. We have the Cogendo, 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 I'm pretty sure. And this is their cleansing spa water. It's kind of like a micellar water um, and it worked really well. I liked it. I no negatives. I also have this one. I know it looks gross, guys. Okay, this is from DHC. This is their deep cleansing oil. This was not my favorite. Um, I just, this is the travel packaging, so I think that's why, but getting it out of here, it just got all over the place. And the reason it looks so gross is I tried to clean out the packaging. And if you know, you know, when you add water to oil, it turns foamy. So yeah. It didn't get clean, that's for sure. We have a couple cleansing bombs. We have a few cleansing bombs, actually. We have the Green Clean from Pharmacy, which is a classic. This one's great. Uh, we have the Pro Collagen Cleansing Bomb from Elemis. This one was also really good. Uh, I think I like the Pharmacy one a bit more. I feel like it was a little more effective. I have some pretty intense makeup, so the Pharmacy was a win. But I think my favorite one was probably the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser from Drunk Elephant. I really do like this one. Um, it's just takes off all my makeup so it does a good job but we got this little tiny guy the peach and lily ginger melt oil cleanser this was good it was great for traveling but again it was just kind of like a little bit messy to get out of there so luckily it was small so i used it up fast uh oh we have okay we have a couple hyaluronic acids we have the peter thomas roth water drench hyaluronic cloud serum i really like this stuff this is great um so i would definitely purchase this again it goes off it goes on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Uh, at least it did last year. So I was able to pick this up and I really do like it. I also have this travel size of the Osea Hyaluronic Sea Serum. I hate this packaging. The little stopper like does not work. And because it's so tiny, you're like trying to get it in there and it just, it won't pick up the very bottom of the product. And you're like, would I want all of it, right? <laughs> so I just have the big size of this and I kind of have a similar problem. It has the exact same packaging dropper and it's annoying and I don't love it, but I do like the product. So that's why I keep coming back for more. It's a great hyaluronic serum. We have the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Eye Gel. It was good. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't have a lot to say to it. It's travel size. My hair is on everything. It's travel size. Um, so it worked good. I didn't see any negative effects. So yeah, like it. We've got some eye gels. We have the Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Gels, which are fantastic. I sometimes like to give myself an extra five minutes and use eye gels in the morning. And it just, I really like it. So... <laughs> Yeah, these were great. Um, I also have the Starlet Kitten Brightening Hydrogel Eye Patches. These ones were so pretty. I brought them traveling with me and uh, they were just fun. So they were great. I also, <laughs> these were so cute. The Cream Shop has a ton of different eye gels that are just so pretty. So they literally looked like this. If there's only one in each packaging or like one pair, 
um, but I use them and I like them. They're cute. Uh, we've got the Herbivore Phoenix Facial Oil. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you've probably seen me talk about this before because I use these up on a pretty regular basis. I love this face oil. I really, really do. I use it at night. I wake up in the morning and my skin looks fantastic. So love this product. We got a couple moisturizers. We have the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. These are in my travel sizes. Uh, I have a full size I'm working on, so maybe you'll see that in the next empties. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, this is my favorite hydrating face cream. I absolutely love it, so I use it quite a bit. I got a little free sample of La Mer. So of course I used it up. Yeah, it's fancy and it smells great and I, I would never buy it full price, but um, it's fun to get samples. Um, we have some Sephora charcoal exfoliating wipes. I don't use this on my face, but I do use it when I'm doing swatches and stuff like that. So they do get used up, but I, I don't put them on my face. And last but certainly not least, we have the Super Goop Glow Screen. I have mine in the color... Do, do, do. I don't know. It doesn't have the color on here, but I know it comes in different colors. Interesting. I don't know, but I love this product. I love Super Goop. I will always talk about how much I love Super Goop. It's a little bit tinted, a little bit shiny. It's fantastic. It's great. We have a couple more skincare items that ended up in the wrong area. So let's talk about these guys really fast. So we have the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I just love how this stuff smells. It smells so good. My husband likes it too, so it doesn't bother him when I put it on at night. So went through a little one. Did not use enough body lotion. Um, we have the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. This is my favorite vitamin C because I don't find it to be too aggressive on my skin. I've used a couple other vitamin Cs that were a little bit too much for my skin, but I keep coming back to this one because I just, I really like it. And then we have the Rapid Brow Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. Does it work? I think it does, but then I think once you stop using it, all that growth goes away. It's very weird but I do like it, I keep buying it, so. Before we get into the best part, which is the makeup, I used up some perfume. I used up more than I thought I did. So I have Prada Candy, I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, I have Carolyn Herrera Good Girl, and I have Floral Street Arizona Bloom. So this sample convinced me to get a travel size. Arizona Bloom is just so good, so good. And then the Good Girl by Carolyn Herrera. My husband loves this one, so I'm considering getting a full size of one. I don't need another perfume, but uh, he loves it. Uh, light blue is a classic. I probably would never buy it in full size, but it is a, just a great kind of lighter scent for every day. And Prada Candy is okay, but it just doesn't last on me. Like I can't smell it after a while. So that's a little disappointing, but um, yeah, it's still good. On to the makeup that I was able to use up. It's not very much. I'm telling you, this past six months was a struggle to use up anything. Whew. So let's get into what I use. So first up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in Honey. Um, this is my Ride or Die Setting Spray. It's just so good. I didn't love this version, the Honey one. This is old. I know if you're like, I've never seen that, it's old, um, but it still works fantastic. I just don't love the scent. It, it very much smells like honey, um, but Urban Decay All Nighter is just my favorite setting spray. The Rare Beauty Setting Spray. So Rare Beauty has come out with so many great things, and this is not one of them. <laughs> this, it took me forever to figure out whenever I used it, it was destroying my makeup. So it would like melt my eyeshadow rather than setting it. So not my favorite at all. I would not repurchase this one. We have some primers. So we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Primer. We have the Vitamin Enrich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. And we have, let's see, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. We also have, I swear I could not get the last of this out. This is the Guerlain Lore Essence Declat Primer. <laughs> sure, we're going to go with that. These were all great primers. These are all very different. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base is kind of my ride or die. Like, it's just a fantastic primer, and it moisturizes my skin at the same time, so I already have a big one, but when I saw this little travel size one, I was like, oh, that's adorable. Smashbox, this is my favorite one from Smashbox, the Illuminate Primer. It's so pretty. Uh, it's fantastic. I have a full size of this as well, so yeah, definitely would recommend. The Tatcha Silk Canvas is interesting. 
Um, I don't hate it. I actually got a large size in one of my Ipsy's when I was still getting an Ipsy, which I'm not anymore, and I haven't for a while. Um, it's not something I think I'd go out of my way to repurchase. I don't think it works as well on dry skin. They have actually a liquid form of this that's fantastic that I like much better than this potted form. Um, but it's not bad. It's just I don't think I'd pay the price for it. And then the Guerlain. I know they just reformulated this. This is an old one. Um, and it was actually really good. I was surprised. I thought it was kind of gimmicky because it's got those little gold flakes in it. But I liked it. And you don't see the gold flakes on your face, unfortunately. That would be cool. Um, but it was good while it lasted. Okay, we have a couple brow products. Oh my God, that's my hair. Okay, so for brows, we have the Brow Pop from Kosas. This is in the color Honey Blonde. I love this product. I actually used up taupe last year. I think I prefer taupe to the Honey Blonde color. Definitely repurchase again, but I'm just working on a few right now, so I don't need it, but really like this product. Um, we have this one from Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Warm Blonde. Not my favorite, you know? Kosas has a similar product that's much better that I like. So would not purchase again, not for this price. We also used up four of uh, my mascaras. So let's go through those really fast. We have the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. This is a tubing mascara. So what that means is literally it creates little tubes around your eyes. And that stuff does not come off until you put warm water in it and gently kind of like rub the tubes off. Um, fantastic. Such a good mascara. Love it. Definitely planning on getting a full size at some point. I don't need it right now, but uh, it's definitely one I would repurchase. You've heard me talk about this. If you've been here, you've heard me talk about my love for the MAC stack from MAC, obviously. Uh, it's so good. I... I literally had a backup waiting for me when I finished this guy, so I already opened it. I'm using it because I love it. It's just such a good product. It lifts, it lengthens, it volumizes, it just deepens. It's so good. I really like it. Um, the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This one I actually really liked. I did. It's definitely, it's nowhere, it's not the same at all as any of the ones we've talked about already. It's much different. It's much more natural looking. It's not natural looking, but compared to the MAC stack, it does a good job separating my lashes and deepening them. So it looks good, but it's not as va va voomish. If I'm looking for something a little more low key. So I did really like this one. Again, Hourglass is so expensive. So um, the price is a little bit debilitating for the full size, uh, but I liked the sample while I used it. And then the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury is not my favorite. It's fine. It's fine. It's not bad. It's fine. It doesn't flake off during the day, which I like. It does a good job lifting my lashes. Um, it can get a little clumpy if you go in with too many coats. It's not, it's just not my favorite, but it's not bad. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good mascara if you like it. I just, I mean, it's just, I clearly don't love it. Like, you know, as much as the other ones that I have. So I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this. But if I had another sample or a travel size like this, I would definitely use that. So yeah, that is the makeup that I used. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to let Editing Lauren come in and tell us the value of all these great products. So Editing Lauren, take it away. Tell us how much were all these products worth? Now, we're not taking into account if I bought them on sale or anything. We're just going for the full retail price right now. So let's see how much we spent. So January through June of last year, I ended up using about $642 worth of products up, which was very exciting. And I didn't think I could beat that this year, but I was mistaken. I actually ended up using $963.77 worth of products during the last first six months of 2023. So pretty exciting and I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you get the chance, please hit that like button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.